jumping here with some breaking news and British literature. Uh, first things first, I wanted to let you know that I'm going to be out of the office periodically in the month of April for end of course exams. Um, make sure that you keep an eye out because there will be some class cancellations. You can look for classes being canceled um, Thursday and Friday of this week, Thursday of next week, and then Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday of the following week. And finally, um, depending on the needs of the test site, I'll be out Monday through possibly Friday, that, the, the last week of April and the, and the beginning of the first week of May. So make sure you're keeping an eye out on um, our, our schedule, okay? Um, one big thing that should be a point of focus for you right now is the digital book project. At this point, you should have completed the digital book topic choice assignments, the annotated bibliography, and the literary analysis assignment. Paragraphs you should have written for this essay should be the background paragraphs on your topic and literary analysis paragraphs uh, that and how they relate to your topic. Um, I was only expecting you to write a paragraph a day. This should be something that you should be caught up on. Um, everything you have for the literary analysis assignment should really be helpful when writing your literary, literary analysis paragraphs because you're identifying those literary elements and you're connecting it to your big topic in that assignment. So really you just need to find some um, quotes to help support your paragraphs, write a topic sentence and concluding sentence, and you should be done. So hopefully um, you'll be caught up by Wednesday of this week, okay? Which leads me to attention, important information, okay? Big information here that I need you to know. If you do not do this project, you are likely not going to pass the course. So if you're somebody who's been waiting and seeing or um, hesitating on doing it, you're going to need to do it, okay? Because if you combine the digital book topic choice assignment, the annotated bibliography, the literary analysis assignment, the modern connections assignment, the digital book essay, and the digital project, which is your semester exam, that's a total of 250 points. So if you don't do that, that's a lot of points that you're gonna be missing, all right? Please, if you are confused with this project, Read the content pages. There's so much in there. You're not going to be able to get it in five minutes. You're going to have to take your time on it. Watch the videos. I know some of you are. I, I, I've seen the views and it, it, the numbers are climbing, which is good. But if you're not watching those explanation videos, do yourself a favor and watch them, okay? I took a lot of time to make sure everything was clear. Um, additionally, um, there's a lot of resources in those content pages because I have outlines in there, I have examples in there, I have lesson pages in there. You Utilize the, sor the sources that are available to you. And with that, ask questions. Seriously, ask me, Ms. ask Mrs. Petrovsky. Either one of us are more than happy to help you out. But if you don't ask the questions and you're confused, then you might not do as well as you would like to on your project, okay? This is not a project about modern, um, modern day issues in relation to mental health or race. Um, you, this is connecting what was happening in British history, connecting it to a literary work that connects to that big topic of your British literature, top, uh, that topic in British history. And then you're then the last part of the essay is that modern connection. So I shouldn't see any, um, I shouldn't see any modern day connections until the very end of your essay, all right? Come to class. A lot of you are coming to class, which is really great. And if you can't because you work during the day, then you have got to watch the recordings. There's a lot of helpful information there. There's a lot of good questions asked, but um, I am not accepting revisions on the essay or the digital book project. So you need to make sure you're getting it right the first time, okay? If you're wanting me to look at um, if you want me to look at a draft of yours I can give you pointers I'm not going to go through with a fine tooth comb that is your job um, before you submit it but I will give you pointers or if you're going in the wrong direction I can be like hey you need to rework your essay this way or I would add you know some more textual evidence here to help boost up that support all right so make sure you're doing that finally if you plan on walking at graduation, 
all of your work must be completed by May 19th at 11.59 p.m. There are absolutely no exceptions here. I have to turn in my grades the next day. I'm giving you the absolute latest I can give you so that way I can meet my deadline to turn in the, the, that, uh, those grades. The counselors need to make sure that all of your credits are in order before they let you walk. Um, if you're a junior or if perhaps you're not planning on walking at graduation, that's something that's not interested to you, you do have until the last day of school. But I know many of you are, are striving for this right here. So that is the deadline. Um, we do have one more unit after the digital book project. We're not done with this class, uh, you know, <laughs> May 6th. You're going to need to, you're, you're going to still have some more work that you're going to have to complete. All right. Um, finally, if you have any questions, just ask. I am more than happy to help you out. I want to see you be successful and I want to see you uh, achieve your goals, graduate from high school and m move on to adulthood, go to college or go into a trade, join the military. A lot of exciting plans for all of you, but this is one of those last steps that you're going to have to take in order to uh, achieve that goal. Okay. If you have any questions, I promise I'm nice. Just reach out, okay? Thank you so much and have a wonderful week. Bye.